All right, John Anthony, three questions on a uh, what if Wednesday, my friend. What do you got on the rundown? How about this one? What if DeSantis is on Trump's VP shortlist? <laughs> then hell might indeed freeze over one day. <laughs> okay. How about that? Um, but he said. Yeah, well, here's, let's be clear, here's yeah. what Trump really said there last night with Laura Ingram. Making a, the audience has uh, been asked who they think would be a good choice, and various names came up. Um, uh, one of them was, of course, Vivek Ramaswamy. Yep. He's made a big splash. Ron DeSantis, who's made in, making an appearance today in South Carolina, we just found out. Um, obviously, Tim Scott, Byron Donalds, and a, a big uh, presence here for Tulsi Gabbard. Um, very interesting. Um, are, and Christy Nome as well, I should say. Right. Are, are, are they all on your short list? They and they when, can you, when can we expect that you will so announce your choice? The one- they are. That was all he said. They are. But the headlines were screaming last night, Ron DeSantis on Donald Trump's VP short list. No, he just said, yeah, 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 they're on the short list. Now, let me talk about what I want to talk about. He said it faster than Ben Shapiro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. right. <laughs> I don't buy it for a second. I just don't. And I, I, I like DeSantis a lot. But um, first off, Trump and many in his inner circle spent the last several months calling him like a rhino, a neocon. His wife faked cancer. I mean, there was some nasty things said about the guy. You know, what's he wearing those high-heeled boots for? Like, hey. And I know that for Trump, it's all just part of the game. But I don't see any way that Donald Trump would ever pick Ron DeSantis as his vice president. I'm not seeing it, John. What's next on What If Wednesday? Right. What if KCI adopts a shine, uh, sh- shopping dining pass? Got that pass, Hackward. What if, <laughs> what if KCI adopts a shopping dining pass a la the Orlando airport, where if you don't have a ticket, not traveling, you can still get into the terminal? Well, we will be able to identify who the psychopaths are in Kansas City. <laughs> because if you want to spend money to go park at an airport, to go dining and shopping, uh, you need to have your brain checked. And I say that with all the love. Now, John and Mark haven't been in the new airport terminal yet, and they want to see it. And what I've suggested to them is that we take a boys' trip. We, well, maybe we go to Vegas or something like that. Wherever you guys want to go, you pick <laughs> it. You just point a city on the map, and we'll go. We'll invite Ray Stevens as well from the Midday Show. And that's how you can see the terminal. The notion that you would spend money to sit in the parking lot to then walk inside to get a pass to then shop and dine and pay money for food that is double what it would be anywhere else in the city is asinine. I, it, it, I've never heard of anybody who wants to go eat at an airport. Why would you? If you've been to an airport, you know it's a ripoff. Literally, I mean, I, I've been there, I've eaten there, and not with the kids, but I've been there by myself to eat. And I'm like, just spend 23 bucks on that? And by the way, you're going to pay to park? It's nuts. But Orlando's doing this. They're starting to give away like a dozen passes an hour. You have to apply. They got to do a background check on you. And then you could go in there. Yes, you could say goodbye to grandma. And you can shop and dine while you're at it. I, I don't think KCI should do it. Because all you're doing then is taking resources away from people who are there to do the thing you're intended to do. And that's fly them from point A to point B. Now, I went to a Broncos game once, and we flew into a Stapleton Shopping Center there in Denver. I don't know if you've been to Stapleton. No. Oh, okay. The the KCI is not Stapleton. There were literally, like, Lazy Boy recliners. There were stores, like a shopping center Well, is that Stapleton. The new airport, uh, is that the new airport there? No, it's been back in the 90s since I went. Oh, their new airport. I don't have a new new one. Yeah, they've got a a new airport probably in the last 15, 20 years. Okay. I mean, I've been there to that one. It is like its own city. That's what I'm saying. So, and KCI is not that. No. I mean, yeah. John Elway's got a steakhouse in there. I, yeah. it's, it's like a mall, it was to your a point. Gym. Yeah. Yes. It was a gym. Uh, there, sure. You got to take a train between terminals. Now, a lot of major cities have that, but sure. I remember going to Denver the first time. I'm like, Denver's got this airport? It, it is enormous. You're right. It's like a mall broke out in an airport. It's well, bizarre. maybe a pass there, but again, KCI is not that. Correct. No, thanks. Uh, what's next on What If Wednesday? Here's one. What if the April tax ballot language works against the royals a lot of words in there yeah some technicalities well that gets to what tim smith said this morning on the show which he's calling this a new tax on jackson county and the ballot language to john's point on april 2nd will read and it's lengthy and it's wordy about how it's really 
repealing the three eight cent sales tax that's currently on the books and then putting it back on the books. So the opponents of extending, or however you want to phrase it, continuing the sales tax for the Chiefs and the Royals are going to point out that this is really a new tax because you're voting to repeal a tax and then add a tax. So on a technicality, they are correct. And that may be something that plays in their favor over the next few weeks. There will be a press conference at Truman Sports Complex today at 3 o'clock to hear from this group that is opposing the Royals and Chiefs tax extension.